And, and she's one of these like Tom, you got to listen quick. And, and she read something that has become one of my favorites um, about how much soul weighs your soul weighs. Yep. 21, 21 grams. grams. And I can't get it out of my hand. <laughs> so that works. Please welcome my good friend, very patient tonight, Miss Janet Kuyper. Yay! on anything. I thought about this. 
And I wondered if this is the plight of the creative, that we're bombarded with all of these ideas. They attack us, they assault us, they bombard us, they infect our brains. And every once in a while, we let one crystallize. We give our scattered minutia a form, and you call it a work of art. But you don't understand, if I let it all out, my brain would explode. I suppose these are the trials of the creative, with all these ideas scratching at our brains, yearning to break free. And us creative types, we're, we're left to pick and choose what from deep within us is worth sharing with the rest of the world. You call it art. I call it what keeps me sane. It's against my will. They, I'm told it's for the best, though. And I always do what I'm told. I look out the window, see a smattering of lights. Wonder where this tube is taking me. On first glance, it looks like every other place. Every place except my home. I've had a gently place all of my dreams, my creations, into this pristine box, as tall as the tallest skyscraper, and then bury it deep inside of my chest, where all I love becomes a memory. I don't know what my destination will look like in the dead of night when I arrive. Everyone tells me I'll love it here. But an acclimated prisoner is still a prisoner. I look in the mirror, I, I try to gain my bearings. Oh, my hair is starting to curl from the heat, and it makes me wonder if I am Medusa with snakes coming out of her head. And here I am, trying to straighten my hair so that people might not be so afraid of me, so that I might not turn everyone who turns my way into stone. But Medusa here has dreams. Creativity is crushed when I hide my heart, buried in that box of gems, never to sparkle again with a lack of light, or at least the right lights. I know carrying past traumas has always been my secret skill. But Pandora here has given me a ball and chain that drags at my ankle and stutters my step. For now I've closed the box as tall as the sky. And my only choice is to enter Pandora's box, where all the evils of the world will follow me wherever I go. I know I'm supposed to be the creative one, but I started my schooling in engineering. I say I'm a writer, I say I'm an artist, but I haven't known what to say to you. But I want you to understand that if I were a painter, I would be Michelangelo, and I paint my love for you like it was the Sistine Chapel, our hands touching in the sky, like it was our last supper. <laughs> what am I saying? Painting like Michelangelo, I'd probably paint like Jackson Pollock, <laughs> calling splatterings and dripping 
art. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'm not a writer, maybe I'm not an artist, maybe I'm an observer, like an astronomer, looking out into the universe, learning what makes everything, everything. Because molecule by molecule, we originate from stardust. But outer space is a violent place. Violent explosions create the stars, and our Earth has earthquakes, avalanches, volcanoes, tsunamis, typhoons. And in all of this madness, somehow, I found you. The journalists and me observed you. I came to you asking questions and broke your hardened shell. A and with you I've walked on the tops of glaciers, crouching down from the violent winds. With you I've watched the solar storms of the Arctic circles, uh, Aurora Borealis, and I've even seen it dance over Greenland from our window, 40,000 feet in the sky. I've held your hand at the Great Wall of China, You've followed me, retracing Darwin's steps. You've steered me clear of a rattlesnake bed. And you've showed me how to reload gun magazines and how to hold an AR-15. Because I've seen galaxies collide. I've seen comets smash into planets. I've seen supernovae and the death of stars. And in all of that, I still found you. As I said before, I'm only an observer, but I found what I've been looking for. And with these observations, I the wed. Because I'll tighten my grip on your hand. Because I never want to let you go. Yeah. Thank you.